What is going on, guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk a little bit more about Warzone and some other issues a lot of players are having now, content creators. Uh, it's, it's been a big topic as of late. Before I get into it, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button and be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Uh, there's been a lot of talk lately on Reddit and Twitter about the issues with Warzone. And as you all know, uh, I'm not a massive fan of Battle Royale games. I did play Warzone a lot when it first came out, but as soon as the cheating issues kind of started, I kind of just stepped away from it. Uh, I'm not a massive Battle Royale fan anyway, and things like that make it even more frustrating for me to play, so I, I, I just kind of stepped away. But over the last year, there have been a lot of bigger issues that have come to light. Uh, there's a lot of content creators uh, that have stepped away and a lot of content creators that are talking about stepping away. I know Drifter made a video talking about it, and that was kind of one thing that was really interesting to me, not just seeing people step away, but hear a large YouTuber talk about not really wanting to play it anymore. I think it is is kind of eye-opening for a lot of, of fans of, of you know uh, different content creators. Uh, not just content creators, though. There's a lot of just regular players that leave, just People that are, you know, like you and me, that are not massive YouTubers, massive streamers, people that are just really gotten fed up with it. And Drifter kind of went out, went on to say that, you know, most content creators are, you know, are just waiting to jump ship for another Battle Royale game. I think a lot of content creators, you know, people that I have watched in the past, uh, people that I still watch to, the, uh, to this day, have left playing Warzone consistently because of all the cheating issues. There's tons of cheating issues and no anti-cheat. Uh, there's big money tournaments going on, people cheating in them. Um, there's even talks of having COD as a competitive thing now, uh, where they play for money as a competitive esport. And while I'm not 100% sold on BR ever being very competitive because it's so RNG, at the same time, it does have a space, in, in, you know, in my opinion. I, I may not think it's going to be the best competitive esport, but it does not necessarily mean that is the case. But in my opinion, you can't have a big competitive esport that plays for tons of money that has professional, you know, players, streamers, whatever you want to call them, playing and having all these cheating issues. And the cheating issues just are not on PC. Of course, you know, there's different things you can do to cheat on console as well with Chronos and things like that. Chronos Max, uh, USB, you know, USBs, things like that you can use to cheat on console. But I think all of it together is just really becoming a very big issue just in the community overall. And even though the, I may not be a big fan of Warzone, I still want to see it succeed because it's part of the Call of Duty world. There's even fans out there calling right now for, uh, you know, Treyarch, Activision, uh, Infinity Ward, all of these different companies to split these games up. Make Warzone its own separate thing. Don't integrate it year in and year out. I've talked about this several times here on the channel. I did not know to begin with if the integration would work. I said I figured there would be some issues. I did not realize the issues that we're going to have now. I mean, in my opinion, it's kind of crazy that uh, Activision is a billion-dollar company, boasts these massive numbers uh, every quarter between Call of Duty and uh, World of Warcraft, making them tons of money, and they still have no anti-cheat. I mean, there's games that are smaller than uh, Call of Duty is and that has anti-cheat in them. Uh, I think a lot of people will probably uh, step away. Uh, they'll jump ship when a new BR comes out um, or just another shooter in general in general or another big triple a title anything that comes out in the future is going to definitely draw people away from warzone if there's some changes not made some people even want a version of blackout brought back they wish Treyarch would just made their own version of blackout like blackout 2 or something like that i think that would have been successful i think if they're going to continue with warzone they need an anti-cheat and they probably need to separate it from the year in and year out integration because this is going to be a problem every single year if Sledgehammer comes back into the fold and we have Sledgehammer, Treyarch, and Infinity Ward making Call of Duty games every year, you're going to have a new integration every single year. Now, would it get better eventually? Probably so. I mean, after, you know, Treyarch's had it a couple times, Infinity Ward's had it a couple times, uh, Sledgehammer's had the uh, Warzone within their game a couple times, it probably would improve. But at that point, would there be enough players left playing to even really worry with integrating it? I think Warzone is... A very interesting or in a very interesting place right now i think warzone could be even more massive than it is it is free to play uh you know it's not a game you got to go out and pay 70 bucks for people can just hop in and play and enjoy themselves but its own issues are really hurting it you know progressing and even being even better now i i, I won't say that um you know battle royale is going to be a thing that's going to be popular forever 
we all know how gaming trends come and go. Uh, we all know how those things work. Some things are popular for years, like zombies was in every game. If you can remember back years ago, every game you can imagine had zombies. Now, usually Call of Duty is the big zombie game still, unless it's like a, you know, a single player style game. But trends come and go. New things come out. Uh, new things are invented. Uh, you know, new type games are invented. So people kind of change the things they play. But I think right now, um, Warzone could be probably one of the most popular games. And it is. It's still a very popular stream game, a very popular game on YouTube. But I think you could have even a bigger player base, player population, even though they say it has 80-something million players. I think it could be even more if there was just a few tweaks here and there and the anti-cheat system. Skill-based matchmaking makes it bad enough. But you add all the rest of this, it gets really, really frustrating. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the Warzone situation, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.